Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, if you guys just give me a few moments, I want to make sure that uh, everything is working right and then we'll get started, inshallah. This is the first time <laughs> uh, I went I went live on Sunday in a minute. All right, my check one two. So it seems like we're good on YouTube. I'm going to check Facebook and then Instagram, and then we'll get going, be the Nilahi Ta'ala. So it seems like we're good book and then Instagram, and then we'll get going, be the Okay, uh, seems like we're good on Facebook. I'm gonna check Instagram and we shall be G2G. Inshallah, good to go. Instagram and we shall be G2G. Inshallah, good to go. Okay, uh, so it seems like we're set up right now, so we'll get started, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Ridwanullah family. Welcome back to a new episode of the Ridwanullah show. I'm your host and life coach, Hussein Mahmoud, working to help you completely maximize life in this dunya and in the akhirah for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Verily, all praise and thanks are due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our creator, owner, and sustainer. The one who's worthy of all worship without any associates or intermediaries. And may the peace and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be upon the most esteemed leader and most honorable teacher, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his family, his companions, and those who follow him until the day of judgment. Allahumma ameen. Um, and inshallah, you guys can hit me up at 801 471 Six four nine one. Um, with any of your life maximization questions on your life maximization journey, be the Nilahi Taala, and I would greatly appreciate it if you subscribe and follow us through uh, the different platforms that you might be watching us on, be the Nilahi Taala. Um, and I did notice that I'm able to get stars on uh, the Facebook Live now, uh, so that's a little bit of a way to you know monetize it. Um, so, you know, hopefully, um, hopefully, you know, that's the way to kind of hopefully sustain the work, be the nilahi ta'ala. So that's positive news for the show, uh, be the nilahi ta'ala. Um, I don't know exactly what that means. If it's just some, some tokens online or if it trans transfers to actual money, uh, to support the show and everything else that we're doing here through the Radwan Allah Solutions. Uh, but um, that's not what we're going to be talking about. Um, you know, hopefully you guys will be calling in to get your questions answered regarding life maximization. Uh, but uh, what I wanted to talk about for today in the meantime and in between time is uh, the Ridwanullah show's Ramadan schedule. Uh, this is obviously a makeup for Friday. Oh man, I'm not sure why. Uh... I'm not sure why. Uh... What do you call it? Facebook just ended for some reason. So let me see if I can get it back up and running. Be the Nilahi Taala. This is like the second time that happened. I'm not really sure what we what's really going on. Uh, 
so I hope I hope uh, there's no issues moving forward be the Allah ta'ala okay so we're back live again on Facebook I hope uh, let me just make sure that it's working just fine Okay, so it seems like we're good so far. Okay, uh, so we're back. At, we're back live on uh, on Facebook. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Um, so you know the Ramadan schedule for the Radwanullah show. Um, you know, as of right now, I'm not really sure how it's going to work out. Uh, I was dealing with some uh, severe headache from coffee withdrawals, caffeine withdrawals. Uh, so I wasn't able to kind of fully put myself there. I felt like I was a zombie. Um, I might just have to show up as a zombie and just kind of thug it out, make it through. Um, but otherwise, you know, I'll see if I could do some makeup. But inshallah, for now, uh, we'll try to stick with the same schedule on Tuesdays and Fridays. Uh, if for some reason I'm not able to make it, then I'll try to make it up on Saturdays or Sundays um, and then and then continue on from there. Because I feel like the consistency and constants of the show has to continue. But, you know, with Ramadan being fourth or fifth, fourth day into it, uh, you know, the schedule, as you guys know, it's a little bit hectic. Uh, so I'm trying to figure it out um, if I need to change it up. Uh, but for right now, just know that um, if for some reason the schedule gets really, really hectic too much to a point where I can't do the show, I'll try to do a makeup session. Um, but, you know, that's essentially what I wanted to say about the Ramadan, uh, the Ridwanullah solution Ramadan schedule. Uh, so if you guys have any ideas or what you guys may prefer better or anything along those lines, please let me know. And we'll definitely take that into consideration. Um, obviously, uh, I will have to make sure that I work it around my schedule. Uh, but hopefully, it'll work out better for your schedule as well. Be the Allah Taala. So, you know, that's that's essentially um, what I wanted to talk about and 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 discover. Um, and I still got the book on deck, so let me just add, actually, let me just read a quick, let me see, let's just do some random right there, page 37. Uh, this is from the Ayah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the book, uh, Youth Problems by Sheikh Uthaymeen, rahimahullah. Um, Islam also permits wearing all types of garments that are accordingly reasonable and according to nature the almighty allah says o children o children of adam we have bestowed raiment upon you to cover yourselves and as an adornment and the raiment of righteousness is better uh, so you know, that's, I guess, a quick snippet of the book. Um, you know, hopefully if you guys are dealing with youth, uh, you know, from, from an Islamic perspective, you know, the Quran and the Sunnah, that's really what, um, you know, he, he's diving into and talking about. Um, but, you know, I, I, I hope Ramadan is going really, really well for you, bi-idhanillahi ta'ala. Um, and whatever problems and challenges that you're going through, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make it easy for you and simple for you. Um, you know, this is a, a very, very special Ramadan for me um, and a very, very wonderful Ramadan. Obviously, all Ramadans are wonderful, uh, but some just are a little bit more peaceful. Some are just a little bit more fruitful. Some are just a little bit more uh, tranquil and, and so blessed uh, by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, so, you know, I, I'm really, really enjoying this Ramadan. I hope you are as well. But if it's one of those Ramadans, unfortunately, I have some family and friends for one reason or the other that cannot fast. Uh, 
during the month of Ramadan that reminded me that I should be even Allah Taala, um, you know, be grateful that I'm able to fast, right? Uh, physically, mentally, spiritually, um, and you know, I ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala to make us amongst those who, uh, you know, take full advantage of this blessed month of Ramadan and look at the things that other people don't have the opportunity to do, right? Some people are wishing to have one more Ramadan, but they are six feet under in the graves. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy on the believers um, and those who have passed away and those to come, you know? So, you know, it's at the very least, it's a, it's a constant reminder that, um, you know, we, we should take advantage of this blessed month of Ramadan. Uh, reconnecting to the Quran, you know, the hadith the, and the sunnah of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You know, that's going to be of utmost importance. It, it brings calmness to the heart. It brings solutions to the heart. It brings solace to the heart uh, and, and soul and, and subsequently life, right? So, you know, if you're not connecting to the Quran as much as you want, and obviously a lot of us are in those situations where uh, we're not connecting to the Quran as much as we would like to, but by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we would try to connect to the Quran as much as we possibly can be then ta'ala and take you know advantage of it and really work to elevate our lives and finances and every part of it in this dunya and in the akhirah for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, maybe this is a reminder for you to really look at your Ramadan schedule, right? And if it's the same as before Ramadan and possibly after Ramadan, hopefully it's better after Ramadan. But if it's the same as before Ramadan, you are in a lot of trouble, a lot of problems and challenges because Ramadan is supposed to change ourselves, our, is supposed to change us, supposed to be reflected, and that change is reflected in our schedule. We're not doing the same old things that we used to do, wasting time. We're spending a lot more time on the Quran and the Sunnah and reviving it uh, through the recitation of it, listening to it, contemplating upon it, and pondering the Quran and the Sunnah. Um, you know, and it's it's one of those things where uh, you know some people are reading, you know, finishing the Quran, you know, uh, five times the whole Ramadan, or at least one time, or probably, you know, up to 30 times. Some people might be, uh, you know, finishing the Quran in one day. You know, those who are at the, at, the, at the highest standards are probably multiple of them. But, you know, at least read a juz a day by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then continue on from there, be it in Allah ta'ala and make sure that each part of your life is being built up by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, and I and I spend a lot of time struggling with building a blueprint and a roadmap for you know uh, at least sufficient success and happiness in this dunya and in the akhirah for the pleasure of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Um, so hopefully the blueprint that we're constructing and the roadmap that we're building is going to help us build and get to at least sufficient amount of success and happiness not only in this dunya, but most importantly in the akhirah for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, so, you know, I don't I don't have too much for you guys on this episode, uh, aside from what I've already mentioned. Uh, but the main thing was to let you know um, that we're going to be, uh, you know, trying to figure out the, the schedule for the Radwanullah show um, and, and see how far that goes. Um, you know, there's small progress uh, that we're seeing for the show, uh, like the monetization part on Facebook at the very least, where we can get stars. I don't know what that what that star entails, uh, but, you know, shoot some stars in my way. Bi'idhinillahi um, ta'ala, and we'll, you know, try to make the most out of it. Um, I think that's pretty much it for uh, looking forward to a new week next week. Bi'idhinillahi ta'ala, I hope Allah subhanahu Ta'ala continues to shower his mercy upon us and bless us throughout this month of Ramadan and allow us to increase in obedience to him and decrease in disobedience to him, if not completely eliminate it. Uh, ta'ala. Jazakumullah khair. Uh, please show your love and support across the board. 
Jazakum Allah Khair, Ridwanullah family, for tuning into a new episode of the Ridwanullah Show. I'm your host and life coach, Hussein Mahmoud, checking out by saying, never ever give up on completely maximizing your life in this dunya and in the akhirah for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.